Oyesa kubanga kusomlomo wepalamende unosifiwe mapisa ngakula uvele kwinkundla kamanki ya sepitoli na mshanje kseni ngezi cholo so kopololo. Umapisa ngakula uchoto njengo somlomo wepalamende kwa nilungu lepalamende izolo. Esiti ufuna kufumela upando ngezi cholo so kwapilizo abekwa zona kubalu kubeka kushle. Kenzele na mshanje lukwa mapisa ngakula uzinikile mapoliseni kwa ye ukululuwe nge pay liye 50,000 rands. The former Speaker of Parliament, Ms. Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula, appeared before the Pretoria Magistrates Court after she handed herself over to the Littleton Police Station in Centurion. The court granted her 50,000 rand bail, which was unopposed by the state owing to her health state and the fact that she handed herself over to the police and her address being thoroughly verified through our verification processes. A consideration was also made that she is not viewed to be a flight risk. The matter was postponed to 4 June 2024 for the arrest of the second accused in this matter. She is facing 12 counts of corruption and one of money laundering dating back to 2016 when she was the Minister of Defence. Kuse njalo mibu temi ninziezo politiko ipefu mlengo hoka kukama pisa ngagula. Iraizi mzanzi itibe kufanele kubalo kama pisa ngagula ubege panzi indambu ngoko na ngoko kufele izi cholo zobu kopolo longa kuye. Iraizi mzanzi takes note of the resignation of disgraced former speaker and defense minister Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngagula from the National Assembly and as a member of parliament, which we had initially called for on the 21st of March 2024. It was clear at the time that Mapisa Ngagula was playing for time while abusing court processes to evade arrest and require and seek special treatment, special treatment that isn't afforded to ordinary citizens when they are accused of committing criminal offenses. This ongoing saga reaffirms Raizam Zanti's call for new and ethical leaders who will work with and for the people, as opposed to the political establishment which places its own selfish interest above everything else and above the needs of citizens and above the work that critical institutions like the National Assembly are required to do in holding the executive accountable. In order to ascertain whether the people of South Africa through the state or any other organ of the state will be paying for Mapisa Ngakula's legal fees, Raizam Zanti wrote to both the President and the Secretary of Parliament and to date, only the presidency has responded, stating that neither the president nor the president is responsible for any matter relating to the legal costs arising, arising from the speaker's legal defenses. However, the secretary of parliament is yet to respond, which only raises even more suspicions that must be urgently put to bed. But ultimately, what we must remind South Africans is that the 29th of May will give us an opportunity to rid the executive and parliament of unethical and corrupt leaders and replace them with leaders who have the ability, the skills, and the will to build a safe, prosperous, united, and equal South Africa in one generation.